Hello everyone. I don't know if you can see me very short. But, uh, I just uh, I want to say a few words about uh, laparoscopy, minimally invasive surgery, and how I got associated with Gordon Laparoscopy Hospital. Um, I was supposed to give a lecture at one of the conferences in Delhi about uh, in January, and then when I was ready to come, my daughter got sick, so I postponed my trip to February. And I had heard about Dr. Mishra and um, through different ways. And so I was in, uh, I literally barged in their conference. I literally did. I mean, it's, they're very kind. They let me speak. But I just kind of went and I said, please, I have some ideas about robotics. There was a lot of robotic surgery being discussed. So I actually found Dr. Chauhan. And I said, listen, I've done about 400 cases with robots. Can you please let me give me five minutes? And he went to Dr. Mishra. And then Dr. Mishra said, okay, get your presentation. And so I went back to Kalkaji. I brought my presentation. And then they were kind enough to let me speak. And I was going to take a flight that day. So thank you. So I think it's the beginning of a very good relationship. Because I have gone on the website. I have seen the hospital. And I am so impressed by all your testimonials about the hospital, about Dr. Mishra, that it's, um, it's fantastic. I actually have been here for the last um, two weeks uh, proctoring for robotics. So they started a robotic program in, um, in Hyderabad, Apollo. And so I was there for about um, a week there. And then for the last week I was in Apollo in Delhi doing uh, robotics. So I just have five minutes. I can talk a lot. John knows that. But I really want to, I'm. he's passionate about it. I am extremely passionate, well, almost as passionate, about robotics and laparoscopy and minimally invasive surgery. And like Dr. Johan said, I'm his senior. I um, started my practice in Florida in 84. And I do, I was, I was trained in a program, luckily, where we did a lot of laparoscopies and a lot of minimally invasive procedures. And so, since 84, I've been almost doing about 8 to 10 laparoscopies a week, so that adds up to a fair number. But the next progression I want is the training which is also being done for world robotics, for doing robotic surgery. And so, at your graduation, from starting laparoscopy, I want to plug in the next step you're going to come back and learn, and that is robotics. And, and it is my passion, but it is going to become your passion too, because there are incredible benefits of minimally invasive. We all know that. But when you're doing a tough laparoscopy, yesterday only I did a robotic case. I had a party planned by my mom. I had 100 people coming, and at Four th five o'clock, the surgeon said, you know, I have just a little five centimeter fibroid. Can you just do a little robotic myomectomy and just, it's so great. I said, fine, no, no problem. I thought, I'll start at five, I'll get done at 6.30, I'll be gone. <laughs> well, sure enough, we put the scope in and the patient has a 15 centimeter broad ligament fibroid in the retroperitoneum. And I'm like, oh, goodness gracious. Five hours later, robotically, we took, by morselating, we did the myomectomy. My, my mom was going to disown me. There were people there at my house having a big function, minus me. I went in my scrubs and I ran. But the satisfaction of knowing that you would open a patient from stem to stern and do a procedure versus you doing a robotic or a minimally invasive option, the patient is awake, is eating, I struggled, that's okay, but it was all worth it. So the reason people do minimally invasive surgery with laparoscopy is because you love your patient. So when you have a tough hysterectomy and you're playing twister, your hand is going this way, you have four ports, the assistant is tired and the camera is going down and you can't see anything and you're suturing intracorporeal and you want to kill yourself because it doesn't, the needle keeps turning even. When you have all those things, remember that at that time you finish the case saying, I love my patient, that's why I'm doing it because if I didn't love my patient, I'd make a cut 
I'll be gone out of here in 10 minutes and I'll be happy but she'll be suffering. So the people who want to learn minimally invasive surgery are the surgeons who want to help their patients. So the next step, robotic, is a win-win. Tough laparoscopy is lose for you, win for the patient. Open surgery is win for you, lose for the patient. Robotics is win for you, win for the patient. It's video game, it's fun, it's minimally invasive, the camera doesn't go away and you can do, the instruments are fine, the learning curve for robotics is much faster than learning curve for laparoscopy. So if anybody says robotic is difficult, they don't want competition because robotics is a piece of cake. You can do laparoscopy, you can do robotics in five minutes. So the bottom line is learn. I'm, I'm so happy to be invited by Dr. Mishra to come and talk to you guys. Don't stop here. Laparoscopic, I was doing almost about 80%, about 90% of my hysterectomies laparoscopically. You can do even advanced laparoscopy, but robotics is the way of the future. It's coming one way or the other in Delhi only. I was told we have nine robots. Until two and a half years ago, there were no robots. So be at the cutting edge, get, get on the bandwagon because people are going to make fun. They think robotics is a game. It's not. Because once you're at the edge, they'll be scrambling, running behind you, wanting to learn because you're providing a service they can. Best wishes to all of you guys. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Dr. Bushra. Thank you. Dr.